right now I'm sitting with James Kwai and he's working with ACSH or I think you pronounced it Ash, Ash before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, tell exactly. us about that. Yeah, awesome. Um, Ash, uh, I spelled out as A-S-C-H dot I-O. Uh, we are a blockchain application platform. Uh, it's a company started in January 2016 mm -hmm. and uh, the mainnet uh, went live in August 2016. So uh, actually, writing this month in August, we're going to celebrate our two years birthday. Two years birthday. Two, yeah, it's kind of a rarity hmm. for a blockchain company. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I think you're also focused on the uh, the Bitcoin Cash ecosystem. We're here at the uh, the Bitcoin Cash anniversary event today. Right. right. So uh, are you focused on Bitcoin Cash or are you agnostic? Yeah. Well, actually, it's a it's a long story. As a company, we are very uh, tech focused, and we are known for our uh, tech. Uh, R&D and uh, technology development and we are the first to uh, uh, make the cross-chain uh, technology finished and live uh, all over China so which means that Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash can get into the Ash uh, ecosystem mm -hmm. we have like 30 uh, assets in the uh, Ash ecosystem many are live on the uh, exchanges by the way, our uh, ticker name is XAS, mm -hmm. uh, and it's tradable on uh, OKEX.com, KuCoin.com, and uh, 14 other uh, exchanges all over the world, which means Bitcoin Cash will be able to used in our ecosystem. So, uh, for example, you create a decentralized app on the Ash platform, you don't need to uh, release your own token, you can use Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash. Okay, right. And which, yeah. which token drives transactions on the network? Uh, we are going to create a, a chain for Bitcoin Cash. Uh, Bitcoin Cash can be used mm -hmm. in that system along with our XAS token. Okay, right. Yeah. And how many people are developing on that now? Uh, in our core team, we have uh, about 30 people. Mm -hmm. We have other contributors in the United States, uh, in Austria, and also in Australia. So we have many outside uh, contributors, of course, in China as well. Yeah. Okay, so, right. Who are your main competitors in that space? Uh, actually, there is a company called Lisk, mm -hmm. L-I-S-K. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's better known in the Western world. Actually, we are kind of uh, similar in our purposes. Um, but in Asia, we are kind of unique and we're uh, right ahead of uh, many other uh, competitors. Right. Yeah. Is there one one kind of distributed app that you're going to focus on, whether it's a gaming or business or anything like that, or is it just anything goes? Yeah, actually, uh, anything can, uh, any business can use our platform because we are uh, agnostic in terms of applications. Mm -hmm. But as a company, uh, we are pushing the uh, the real business world, like like finance industries. Uh, like logistic industries to be able to use our uh, technology. Okay, great. So where can people find out about that? Uh, we uh, we have uh, uh, some uh, contests, like uh, you know decentralized app contests mm -hmm. that we publicize, we market that. We also have dedicated staff uh, in business development that go out and find those uh, uh, companies. And also as the uh, vice president of the company, it's also my duty to find the big companies, the public companies, to be able to work with. We pitch them and we work with them to have uh, the technology landed in their, uh, in their real business. Okay, James Quay, thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you very much, John. Thank you.